Friday the 11th uh, of April, looking at uh, Euro, US dollar, and I'm going to look at cable as well. You can see the Euro quite unexpectedly actually broke through this uh, trend line here. I thought that would hold, but it didn't. So we've closed above it. It's all looking positive now that we're above it. The line comes in at around the 138.75 area. So as long as we hold below, be high, above there, rather, we should continue higher. Uh, we've got yesterday's high at 139.00, one, today's high at 139.05. So clearly that 139.00, 139.05 area will have to be beaten. We are overbought short term which is why we're probably struggling there but um, don't rule out a break higher. Things do look quite positive on the daily chart and if we can push on then we're looking for sort of the 139, 35, 40 area and of course we've got these March highs up at 139.66. Uh, wouldn't rule that out not today probably but next week certainly there's a chance and then we'll be looking for a potential double top and then the market to turn lower but we'll have to review that as and when we get there. Uh, we do have some support, as I said, around the 138.75.70 area. Below here, a bit more negative, but I don't really see it a lot lower than 138.50.45 today, even if we do see a sell-off. This is a daily chart of uh, pound versus dollar cable. Now, this is looking more negative. We've got this double top. We uh, peaked on the 17th of February, and we saw this spike higher and a lower close. We've done something similar yesterday. The spike higher and the lower close, double top. Um, almost at exactly the same price I think that's 168.20 yesterday 168.22 on the 17th of uh, February so yeah I do think this is going to st start heading lower uh, already stochastics are crossing won't take much for this to, to start selling off um, shorter term chart we're just relieving ourselves from an overbought situation so MACD also turning negative so these oscillators really are looking quite negative uh, I'm looking for 167.35 possibly today, Friday, uh, of course, 167.35.30. If we sink below that, wouldn't rule it out. We could get to 166.80.85, but that should hold the downside at this stage. The only thing that would change this um, really is a weekly close above 168.25 tonight. Really don't see that happening. Um, if we did see that, I'd change my mind, and then I'd say next week we're going to be powering ahead. But until we see at least a daily close above 168.25, more, more importantly a weekly close above there then I can't get positive on cable and I do think we're going to see some quite heavy profit taking.